147 in the Saturday morning. It is time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson's here from the Imagination Station. And Carl, all morning we've been talking about this ring of fire and the annular eclipse. Correct. So, you brought something with you. Right, really quick and dirty. This is a what's called a pinhole viewer. Okay. It's uh, just a piece of cardboard. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I cut a big hole in it and then covered that hole with some aluminum foil. Okay. Take a needle, poke a tiny little hole through that. Mm -hmm. You can then point this at the sun and use this to actually image the sun. Because if you weren't paying attention earlier, you're not actually supposed to look at this with your eyes because that can Never. cause major damage. Never look at the sun. Okay, so you can use the pinhole viewer and you'll be able to image this. And really, you'd really wanna make this as long as possible. Get mm -hmm. one of those old shipping boxes, mm -hmm. tape it together, put a pinhole at one end, and then image at the bottom. Okay. Okay, so if you wanna to try to view the sun, that's a safe way to do it. Cool. But I thought today we'd do something with poking holes in things that you generally don't poke holes in. Like okay. A balloon, right? All right, I'm with you. So go ahead and take this uh, bamboo skewer mm -hmm. and go ahead and just poke it right through the balloon there. It popped, so okay. Careful with how you Sorry. poke that. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. Safety, safety first. Okay. All right. Now, normally, you, you, a balloon's just going to pop if you do that, right? But let me take that away from you. Let me give you one that has a little bit of vegetable oil on it. Okay. okay? Now, the balloon is actually stretched really tight around the middle, mm -hmm. but near the top and bottom, there's lots of extra material. Okay. So if you are careful, you can actually take the skewer. Okay. And I'll let you hold the balloon this time. All right. Okay. And try to po just poke that right through the Right balloon. through the middle? Right through the end of it. Yep. Okay. Got to press hard. Just keep doing it. Twist it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Oh! There you go. Wow. Now, okay. Keep going all the way through. All You're right. Go all, all the way, way to the, the bottom? End. Yep. And you can actually... Now oh, you, lose, you lose a little air. Okay. But, but with a little practice, you sure. can get it so that you can actually skewer the balloon. Well, I'm no Carl Nelson. That's why you're here. <laughs> no, but you can, you can do it. Here, try it again. Interesting. Get in okay. the balloon. Um, and the whole reason here is that there's a... Do you skewer a, too? No, no, you can use okay. that one. There's a lot. No, no, you're going to hold the balloon. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust I'm you. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I don't trust you with that. <laughs> so the whole idea here is that the material near the top and bottom of the balloon is not stretched as tightly as it is near the middle. Okay, and you sure. Can actually, hey, another big Hey. With a little practice, right. you can actually get it to go through there. So this is a really cool thing if you had a barbecue or something in the summertime sure. and they got skewers and balloons around. Yeah. You can amaze everybody by... Now, you have to blow the balloons up not quite as full as you normally would, right? Uh, is that kind of a... Not so much, not no? so much. Even if you blow them up really, really big. I mean, sure. you can't blow them up bigger than the skewer because if you blow well, them up bigger than the skewer, yeah. you're not gonna be able to do it. And then you can also pull the skewer out as well. Huh. It'll That's slowly really lose a little bit of air. Okay, and what's the purpose of the oil? Um, it lubricates the skewer so that it can slide between the polymers. Okay. This is made out of latex, mm -hmm. and so there are polymer chains in there. And if the uh, skewer is uh, oiled up a little bit, you can use vegetable oil, you could use dish soap, you could use lotion, sunscreen, whatever you okay. have on hand. <laughs> and uh, that'll help it slide in between the molecules a little bit easier. So as long as you don't have um, skewers around the little kids without some supervision, this could be something that you try at home. Correct. Or around Absolutely. me, you know, whatever. <laughs> You know, if you want to, you can even try to get two skewers. Through. Oh, I didn't two, realize three, you were doing that. You can do more than one. All right. You can do more than one. Setting those sights high. Carl, yes. I like you. <laughs> All right, sounds good. That's this week's Imagine It. And just a reminder for you, the Imagination Station, they are open today. If you would like to spend some of that time indoors, you guys have that nice air conditioning, stay away from the heat. And you also have um, a new exhibit, correct? We do. We just opened up uh, Grow You from mm -hmm. the Andersons. It's all about agriculture, animatronic robots that teach about agriculture. Really cool. You should check it out. Neat. All right. Well, that's this week's Imagine It, Carl. Thanks for coming in. From there, we want to go check in with Dave Holmes. He's got to check his sports.